Okay, the tools we're going to use today, small Allen wrench set, channel locks, crescent wrench, plumber's grease, and of course we have our new O-rings and our new cartridge. And as always, we need to have a rag on hand to clean up any mess that we create. So let's start tearing this down. Okay, the first step was to turn the water off to the faucet so that, of course, you don't want any water going everywhere when you take this faucet apart. The reason we're changing the O-ring set out is because this faucet, along with the spout, has gotten really hard to turn. It's real stiff, so we're going to put new O-rings on it. First thing we're going to do, take the little indicator off. We'll match up which O-ring, or sorry, which set screw we need to Loosen that set screw up. Take the handle off. Next thing we're going to need to do is take this nut off that holds the cartridge in. Alright, we're going to grab our crescent wrench and remove this nut. Loosen it up. This allows us access to the cartridge. You take it out. Make sure when you pull the cartridge out that if the little O-rings are not on the bottom of your cartridge, they're going to be inside the faucet, and you'll need to get those out. The new cartridge usually comes with the new seals. Next thing we're going to do is take this nut off here that allows us to take the spout off. What you're going to want to do on this is to put a rag around this and then get your channel locks. The reason you put the rag on here is so that you don't scar up this chrome piece. Also, what you want to do after you get these pieces off, go ahead and clean them. Any grease or anything that's on them, you want to wipe that off. That way your job is nice and clean when you go to put everything back together. Okay, now we're going to pull the spout off. What I usually like to do is take my rag, put it behind here, so because any water that's inside of this faucet, when you pull this spout off, that water's going to come out. You want this rag here to catch any excess water to keep it from going underneath that sink. Pull it up slowly. And there you have it. Now you want to start taking some of these parts off. This is your upper bearing. The O-ring kit that comes with new ones. Now we're going to take the O-rings off. That's the upper O-ring. Take the lower O-ring off. And that's trash. Now we want to get the bottom bearing. patient with these items. They will come off. Just take it slow and everything will work out for you. Alright, what I like to do is go ahead and take my rag and clean all this up. All the old grease, anything, deposits that build up. Go ahead and clean it off now before you start putting your new O-rings and bearings on. You also want to take your spout inside of that spout. It gets a build up, a bunch of stuff. Go ahead and clean that out. I'm 
Okay. All our pieces are clean. We're ready to put O-rings on. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put all our pieces back in, all the new items. First thing we want to do is put the new bearing in. This is going to seat all the way to the bottom of the faucet. This is what your spout is going to ride on. We're going to take new O-rings and some plumber's grease and coat these O-rings with some grease. Don't need to have a whole lot on there. Make sure it seats into the holes. Now your upper O-ring. Coat the whole thing with plumber's grease. You don't really need to have a whole big glob of it on there, just enough to cut it. Put it in place. Okay. You don't have to grease the inside of your spout. Your O-ring has got enough for, for any kind of lubricant that it's going to need. Now we're going to go ahead and put the spout back on. And as you can see, that's turning really nice. Put our new nut back in place. Get the rag. This nut doesn't have to be too tight. Just snug it up. Check your faucet, your spout. You've got good mobility, good turning, easy. You're good to go. Here's a good example of watching what you do when you take parts off, make sure you put the same amount of parts back on. I put that nut on here and I failed to put in my upper bearing. So I've taken the nut off. Here's my upper bearing. I'll go ahead and seat that in place. Now I can finish this installation. Without that upper bearing, you're going to have a leak. Snug this up good and tight, not over tightening it. Now we can go ahead and put a new cartridge in. It's not necessary to grease this O-ring and this seal. It doesn't move. But what you do want to look at is on some faucets, these little knobs or notches right here coincide with two little holes inside of the faucet. Those are going to seat. If you don't get them in there, this, this cartridge is going to sit too high and it's not going to work. You want it to snap down in place. So now that that's in place, we'll go ahead and put the nut back on it. That holds the cartridge. Crescent wrench. Just snug this up. You don't have to over tighten this. enough so it's not going to come out on its own. That's all you need. Alright, we're almost there guys. Hang in there, we'll put the remainder of the parts on and we'll give it a test. Alright, now we can put the handle back on. It's just like it was when we took it off. Except this one's being a little bit difficult. Make sure your set screws turned all the way out. The new cartridge is has not got any indentations or dimples in it from being used, so that works perfect right there. We want to tighten that set screw up. Here again, we don't have to over tighten it, just make it snug. That's all you're going to need. Put our little indicator back on, and we're good. This faucet's turning beautiful now. A lot easier than it did when we started. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up any mess that I've made with my rag. And 
and we'll turn the water back on. All right, let's turn this on. We're going to check for leaks. What you want to look for is any water coming around the base of the spout or up through the neck of the spout. Go ahead and turn it. Move it around to check the leaks. It looks high and dry to me. I think we've got success. Well, I hope that helps. I know that it uh, sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to do these things if you don't have help. So, today's reason for changing the O-rings was definitely evident. The spout was really hard to turn, so these O-rings needed to come out and be replaced. Another reason to replace those O-rings that I didn't touch on was that if you're getting water on the outside of that spout from either the bottom of the neck or the top of the neck just below the handle, the O-rings are going to be letting water seep through and that water is going to find its way down into the cabinet under the sink and then you'll start getting some wood rot. So you definitely want to take care of that pretty quickly. 